Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the blind man can. Today the weather's not too flash so I'm not doing a whole lot of fishing. Figured I'd do something else that I love and show you guys how the blind man can charcoal barbecue. On the menu today we've got uh, a couple of racks of what the Americans like to call baby back ribs. So I'm going to uh, clean those up. I'm going to uh, uh, put on my secret uh, home done barbecue rub and then we'll uh, get the fire started and jump into it. I've read a listened to a few uh, tutorials online about these ribs. I've never done them myself so just hoping we uh, we can jump into it and uh, serve up something half decent otherwise it might, might be a uh, trip to the pizza shop. Ah, look. It does come off. Alright, so peeling off the membrane. I was... Who to thunk it? YouTube is correct. Okay. So we're aiming at one rack per person. I'm also going to do some barbecue chicken wings because a few people in my household uh, don't like pork and uh, my barbecue rub has got a fair bit of a kick to it which probably won't please my granddaughters or their mother tomorrow when she has to deal with their nappies so a right, little bit of oil on cool all right i call my barbecue rub secret there's nothing secret about it it's basically uh, brown sugar, paprika, onion powder, uh, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, chili, salt and black pepper. So fairly stock standard simples. I use it for everything from my uh, smoked pork shoulder through to seasoning steaks. It just seems to be a, uh, a never fail. So we're going to go quite liberal with the amount. some nice flavor penetration flip that over all right fire time so we've got my char griller kamado now i chose the uh, steel one not just because it was the cheaper of the two but i figured steel's less likely to shatter if i knock the bloody thing over so safety first now i've got my weber eye grill barbecue thermometer which is awesome bluetooth speaks to my phone and the app actually works with voiceover so i can keep an eye on the temperature so we're gonna pull our rack out and these racks unfortunately i did learn the hard way shatter if you drop them on the concrete so be careful uh, now i put fire lighters so I'm going to do a top down burn, I've got my lump charcoal, uh, just a basic sawdust compressed fire lighter, make sure vents open, daisy wheels open, okay. Burning. Yes. Make sure it's burning. Now we're going to stack a few lumps, smaller lumps, above it. And we're going to aim for supposedly a fist size fire. I have no idea how I'm going to judge that. In fact, I'm not. I've also got three lumps of apple wood that I'll add in once the fire is burning before I get everything stacked in there. And all right, 
We'll be back in about 10 minutes when that uh, fire light is burnt out and uh, the charcoal's up and roaring. See you soon. So our fire is going well. I reckon I'm going to load in the um, applewood chunks. I prefer applewood. It's a bit milder than the darker ones. Um, but whatever wood suits you, blows, tickles your fancy, blows wind up your skirt, all the rest of it, uh, it's up to you guys. I like apple. Um, so much for it being crap weather. Definitely missed out on a day's fishing, but let's make the best of it. Chuck a chunk in there. I'll put a chunk down lower. All right. Gotta go heat deflector without the extra firelighter on it. Because we're going indirect cooking. Double check. Vents open. Daisy wheels open. We'll keep that open on full until we hit about 70 degrees Celsius. And then uh, we'll start closing it down to hit our low and slow markers. So we'll see you soon. Now, eye grill barbecue thermometer stating it's 30 degrees and going up, so we'll keep an eye on that. As I say, 70 degrees is about the magic point, and then we'll start shutting vents down to set up the, uh, the temperature for low and slow. All right, we're just about to hit 70 degrees. There's 70 degrees, so first things first, the daisy wheel. We're going to close down until it's a tiny little slit like that. And then our slider, we're going to come all the way shut and then we're going to back it off. If you can see that, the back end of the screw that holds in the, uh, the plate. Perfect. We've just hit 110 degrees Celsius on the eye grill, so that's where we want to go. It's taking about a minute for a degree to go up, so we're basically stabilizing. I'm going to open this up. Obviously, the temperature is going to drop drastically when I open this up to put the racks in, and it should come back up to about the same temperature. So let's get it on. The racks are unwrapped. We're going to open up and we're going to quickly grab the first rack and drop it in the middle of the grill grab our second rack and we're going to drop it on top we're going to get that lid closed as quickly as possible that's my alarm for the temperature drop we won't worry too much about that all right so we are going to go into our uh, make up our brazing liquid, which is going to take us into the second part of the uh, baby back ribs where we wrap them and uh, braise them, keep them nice, tender and moist. So we've got four ingredients. We have apple juice. We're going to go one cup. of apple juice into a bowl then we are going to go one tablespoon of our dry rub Now, the recipe calls for the use of balsamic vinegar, but I don't have any, so we're going to use red wine vinegar. There's brown sugar in my uh, dry rub, so hopefully the two of those together will uh, pair it up nicely anyway. So there's half a tablespoon. And then, last ingredient, garlic. One clove, which we're going to mince. Put 
pretty fine. I keep my knives nice and sharp, so I am quite careful because I rather like the tips of my fingers where they are. Okay, and then scarlet into the bowl, spill half of it on the bench. Now, we're about to open up and bring the uh, rib racks out to wrap in tin foil and uh, put the, the liquid in for the brazing portion of uh, the cook. All right, here we go, let's see how we are. Oh, feeling good. I'll close that straight away. That's my alarm going off to say temperature's dropped. All right, so got that side up, got that side up, and I wrap that side up there. Hold that one back. All right, now we got a uh, bit of a boat for our fluid, so we can pour in. that should keep the liquid in where it's supposed to be okay so when I open up this Weber oh it's Weber this um char griller I'm now going to put the one that was on top before down below and vice versa so we get it spreading around so open drop that one in there and drop that one up there, close that lid. All right, two hours and we'll be back. We have our sauce there for our sourcing. So we will open that and grab our first one out. or sauce our rack of ribs and we're liberally going to sauce our rack of ribs and we're going to do this a few times over the next hour and they're already starting to drop so now we're just going to look at getting a bit of a bark up on the rack before we serve up because they're starting to fall apart already so I'm going to chuck them on there close that down lock that in place and uh, we'll keep on basting every 15 minutes we'll catch you soon 
and now it is basting time so first 15 minutes is done we're going to open this up I'm going to baste these ribs again and uh, keep sourcing them as we go I don't know that I'm going to risk turning these ribs because they're pretty bloody uh, tender and I think they might fall apart ah hey what's the worst that can happen let's grab hold there's a bone gone I suppose the more bones that fall out the more um, the less we have to pull them out or eat them off the bones as well okay let's get that shut all right so timer is done we're going to get out these ribs i don't know if you guys can see this or not but we are done with cooking so nice sticky ribs one rack two racks then I'm going to close that I'm going to shut my vents down completely so it chokes the fire alright ladies and gentlemen so there it is baby back ribs on the smoker and uh, barbecue chicken wings on the gas grill served up sweet as a nut this is how the blind man can cook up a storm for his family. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this one with your friends. Cheers, guys.